FishTankTV.com and YouTube. It's Wayne with Wayne's Fish World, also on Fish Tank TV. Also, I want to clarify something before I start this video. Yesterday was a rumor going around on uh, Fish Tank TV that Fish Tank TV was going to go away. That rumor is not real. That was not the real Dustin. Um, I saw it yesterday. It was this guy. It was a new member, and he was an imposter. He basically was basically a troll, and uh, basically he made a he got he saved he saved Dustin's profile picture and. Used it. It's his picture. His real name was uh, Joe, I think. And me, GSP, and Tim took took care of that real quick. So don't worry about that. Fish Tank TV ain't going nowhere. So gonna give you an update on everything. All right. You can see my reef is doing good. There's an anemone back there. There's another anemone. Um, you see it right there. It's kind of closed up right now. The Niger triggers right there. Um, he's doing good. Also, I've got a few, you can't see him on camera, but uh, I'll, I'll show you where they're at. Um, I've got a Christmas tree worm. All right when I'm doing a video, really. Hold on a second. Alright, anyways. I got a Christmas tree worm right here. You can see that one right there. Um, it's an orange Christmas tree worm. And there's two smaller purple ones right here. There's one clear one here. And there's two little teeny tiny orange ones right here. And there, might be, there might be some on somewhere else in the tank. I don't know where they're at. There's also a few uh, little cleaner starfish. And there's a nitro trigger right there. He's doing good. So my plan for this tank is really good we're going to turn this thing to a really spring down to the basement really fix it up and stuff um new lighting everything you name it but for right now it's going to be on hold um we're going to work on the 125 the 125 is my main priority right now and i want to fix that thing up right there and you see my yellow tanks doing really good and they're getting along fine now um so yeah let's look at the pond apologize for that video getting up there or whatever but uh somebody called and whatever you know all that stuff Alright, so pond update. Pond looks totally different. It's getting winterized. I gotta get de icer soon. And you can see Virginia, the tree of le uh, the state of trees is no longer have leaves. I mean, some trees do. But most of them are gone. So, I fed the fish already, so they probably won't come out. There goes one right there. Some comments right there. I'm gonna sell a whole bunch from next year. I hate to do it, but, you know, because I raised them and stuff. They're my babies, but I'm gonna have to sell them because some things are gonna take over my pond. So, uh, let's see if they don't come up. They've already ate, and it's cold, so they're not going to eat too much, so, and forgive me, I'm getting over cold, so, oh, I had a bad one, too, but basically what happened with the pond is, I took all the hyacinths and lettuces out, I just said, forget it, I'll buy a new one next year, um, they'll multiply it crazy, water temperature, let's check the water temperature, you want to stop feeding your fish when he gets around 45, even the wheat germ, Ugh. water temperature is at, uh, upper 50, so it's good, but, you know, Almost time to stop feeding them. It's pretty warm. Oh shit! Oh, almost fell. All right, it's pretty warm for November. At this time of November, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to all y'all, um, all you football fans. Hope your teams win and stuff. I don't really follow football. Um, little fry in here. They're doing good. It's only highest and stuff I have outside. I don't know how they survived. All right. I guess y'all want to see this. Some of y'all want to see this. All the chickens are inside the hen house right now. So. Just the roosters are outside. What's up, boys? It's time for my other rooster. Martin, babe, I gotta put some pine needles in their pen. Yesterday, I took the whole pen and put this stuff in there to keep them warm. Huh? What's up, baby? You gotta go down the track slide a minute. Ran right out of food. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? Hi, little Grace. Yeah, they're doing good. Doing good. Doing good. This could be their first winter, so what's up, little girl? Let's go see the 125. Alrighty, we're in the basement, and I just blew out the light, so my apologies. So, what's going on here? I got some few things going on upstairs. I can't tell you a little top secret stuff going on up there, but my maroon clownfish is in there. He's chilling. He's doing good. Um, probably gotta add some fresh water to that in a minute. He's doing good. I'm gonna get him a buddy later on in the sump. So, that's what's going on with that. But let's look at the 125. Boosh. All right, the angels are in here, and some good and bad things are going on. Now, I, I was talking to Serena about this today. I sent her a message on YouTube. The Odyssey heater is—it's not—it hasn't failed, but it's not able to heat the tank past 70, 72, which I just don't understand because it should be able to get 500 watts. So I got mad, and I'm um, not really mad, just kind of upset because Top Dog Seller, their Odyssey products are really good. Look, these two lights are Odyssey, 
and they're really good so I mean I don't want to give a bad name so I'm not taking that um, video response back I recommend you getting them every product will have the defaults you know with the Neon Tetra school and every product will have defaults um, refrigerators, lawn mowers, trucks, cars, you name it um, everything will have defaults nothing's perfect so I mean I just got a defective heater and what I decided to do I said well the angels are in here so what I've been doing every day is taking my bucket or these are the RODI water cans I use for the reef. <clears throat> and uh, what I do is I'll take 10 gallons and put it back in here. And uh, that pretty much keeps the water temperature at 74 and it drops back down to 70 at nighttime. So the heater is keeping it at some point. It was like 65, no, like 60 before I had the heater. And now it, it's able to keep at like 70. So it is doing somewhat good. So um, it's not a total failure. But, uh, so I got on YouTube, uh, eBay again, and I was looking around, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting over cold, <coughs> pretty bad one too, and I got around eBay and stuff, and I saw, I was, Serena sent me these two, uh, this link a while back, and it was, uh, Eheim Jagger heaters, two 250 watt ones, and I found a 300 watt one that's able to heat a 267 gallon tank, I believe, I could be wrong, um, and it's it's doing good it's doing good um really good so i'm pumped about that and what the heck did i just say oh my bad i had no idea what i was talking about there but um i got a, i saw an eheim 300 watt here and basically what i did is i ordered it and it's going to come in here and it's going to heat this tank up and some good things going on and bad things with the angels these two the koi and gold i don't know if you're watching the video but they're staying close and i'm wondering are they going to pair off? But here's the problem. That blushing is picking on the marbles again. She wants that dominant male. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get one more male angel because she's just pestering him so much. It's it's just, it's not good how much he's getting pestered. And you can see the Serpes, four out of the five that are in here. So that's what's going on with the tank, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Can't wait to get the Eheim heater. There's the Ballast Sharks back there schooling. It'd be cool if they breed, but they, nobody's bred them in captivity. I think you have to have, like, huge schools. And they probably go somewhere in the Amazon to, uh, to breed or something. I don't know, but that's what's going on. Comment, rate, subscribe. Later.